Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an eyeshadow tutorial to get this look. And I'm going to be using the Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. So I had done this look in my Sephora haul and a few of you reached out asking me to recreate the look. So if you guys want to see how I got this eyeshadow look, please keep on watching. Alright you guys, so to start off today's look, I'm going to go ahead by prepping my lids and I'm going to use the P. Louise base in shade number two. So I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand and take this MAC concealer brush and apply it on my lids. And if you don't have an eyeshadow base or primer, you can use concealer. This is what the eyeshadow base looks like so far on one eye, and I'm gonna do the other eye. So I know a bunch of new makeup has come out. Are there any products you guys are using that you're absolutely obsessed with? I am always looking to try new products, so if there's anything you guys are using that you think I should use, please let me know in the comments below. And before I put on the eyeshadow base, my eyes were already prepped with eye cream, so just something that I like to do every morning whether I'm wearing makeup or not wearing makeup. The eyeshadow base is on and I'm just going to blend it out with this Morphe M335 brush. And when you blend it out with a brush or even a beauty blender, this just allows there to be no creasing. So that's exactly what we want because if we apply eyeshadow on top of a creased base, then your eyeshadow is going to be creased. So always make sure that you blend out any creases. So now that my lids are prepped, I'm going to take my Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. And if you guys haven't seen it, here it is. Every color is so beautiful and applies so well. It's super blendable and super pigmented. So if you guys haven't seen my Sephora haul video on this palette, go check it out. Highly, highly recommend this palette. And this is not sponsored by any means. I paid for this with my own money, but I just love it that much. To start off with eyeshadow, I'm going to take this Morphe M505 brush and the caramel shade here and put that on my crease. This is going to be my transition shade. And you can see this is blending out like a dream. Look how easy it is. And taking that same color and doing the other side. So that is what it looks like with the shade Caramel on my crease. I'm going to take the shade Pumpkin Spice and I'm going to put that on my crease just to deepen it up a little bit more. And I'm taking this MAC 217 brush. Okay, so you can see how the Pumpkin Spice eyeshadow color deepened up the crease. That's exactly what we want here. So I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. I'm going to take the shade Vanilla Cream, which is the shade here, and put that on my lid kind of to set the base. And I'm going to take this MAC 239 SE brush. This is an eyeshadow brush. It's just from one of the holiday sets that I got a long time ago. In this pan, I had mentioned in my Sephora haul, there is a lot of fallout on the palette but it's okay I'm not that aggressive with my palette there isn't fallout on my face so I'll take the pan over my face any day and I'm only taking this on the inner half of my eye and I'm gonna do the same thing to this eye now that vanilla cream is on my lids I'm gonna go ahead and do the purple on the middle half towards the outside of my lid. For the purple shade, I'm going to take this Morphe E18 brush and the color double shot here. And you wanna pack it on. So I'm just tapping it onto my eyelid versus wiping because I want to pack on the color and make it as pigmented and bright as possible. You guys, look at this color. Do you see this color? It's so beautiful. Thank you. 
This is how I'm gonna do the purple eyeshadow on both eyes. It may look like there's a harsh line, but I'm gonna blend it out when I put the other eyeshadow color on. I just don't want this to get on the rest of my lid. Again, we want it from the middle of the lid towards the outside. And now for the other side. For these colors, you barely have to take any on the brush. Like I'm barely dipping into the eyeshadow palette and picking up the color. That's how pigmented these colors are. And I'm not blending this into the crease yet because this is super domed like. It's gonna get everywhere. So I'll take a more defined type of brush to get into the crease so it's not super purpley with the transition colors. I'm gonna take this foiled shadow in the shade Macchiato here and put that on my lid. But before I do that, I'm gonna put on a little more eyeshadow base just so the sparkly shade really pops and sticks to my lid. You don't have to do this step. I'm just going to. So just gonna put that on top. And I'm taking the same brush that I applied it with in the beginning. And I'm putting this as close to the purple eyeshadow as possible, but not going over the purple eyeshadow. I'm gonna work one at a time here. That way the eyeshadow base doesn't dry down. So taking the same eyeshadow brush from MAC that I used to apply the vanilla cream eyeshadow, I'm gonna tap into the macchiato shade and apply that directly onto my lid. And this brush is not wet. Like there's no fix plus on it. I'm not trying to amplify the color right now. This is just dry brush, eyeshadow directly on the lid. And it is so pretty. And I'm kind of going over the purple eyeshadow just to blend the two into each other. And that is what it looks like. You can put it on your finger if you want to make it more foiled, but you really don't need to. Like you can't really see the difference between me using my finger and using the brush. I have to say that using the brush picked up so much color. I mean, you can see the color, you can see how vibrant it is. I love it. And now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. Now that the eyeshadow colors are on my lids, we are almost done. I'm just gonna go ahead and intensify the purple a little bit more. Close to my crease, but not in my crease. I kind of just want to all blend it together and then I wanna blend the lid colors together as well. So with that, I'm going to take this Morphe M503 brush with the purple eyeshadow and just touch things up with this brush. It's not as fluffy, so you'll be able to get in the crease a little bit more and kind of blend things out a little bit better. And I'm very lightly blending it into the crease. Nothing crazy, I'm not putting the eyeshadow color directly on my crease, I'm putting it on the outer corner of my lid first and then blending it into my crease. That's what you wanna do unless you want purple in your crease. And going directly over the line and just blending the two together by tapping on it. That's how it looks with everything blended together and doing the same thing to the other eye. So there you guys have it. The lids are done. When I did this Sephora haul video, I didn't put black eyeliner on, but I'm feeling black liner today. So I'm gonna do the black liner off camera. Okay, so I put on my eyeliner and I am not a pro at winged liner. So I'm gonna show you a little trick on how you can get the perfect wing if you aren't good at eyeliner. So you're gonna take a makeup wipe. This is from Simple and just go ahead and wrap that makeup wipe around your finger like this. I already did this, so that's why my wing is already done. I forgot to turn on the audio, so it didn't record. So you're just gonna go right underneath the eyeliner and drag it up. And that's gonna give you the most clean, perfect eyeliner ever. You can use under eye patches to give you that shape as well, but if you don't have the eye patches and you're looking for another trick, this is what I used to do all the time when I wore eyeliner. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other eye. And there you go, perfect winged liner. So you always want your winged liner to stop where the tails of your eyebrows end. That's gonna give you the nice cat eye lifted effect. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup off camera. I'm gonna save my lashes and the lower lash line for you guys so that way you can see how I 
finish off my eyes. So stay tuned. I'll be right back with the rest of my makeup for the most part done. All right, you guys. So I did the rest of my makeup. I did do my top lashes because I put on false lashes. Now I never wear false lashes like ever, mainly because my lashes are pretty long to begin with. And I don't know, they're not heavy, but they're just a little too dramatic for me. To complete the look, I'm gonna do my lower lash line and put on bottom mascara. So for my lower lash line, I'm going to take this Morphe M431 pencil brush and that same purple shade in the Dominique Cosmetics eyeshadow palette and apply that towards the outer corner of my lower lash line to the middle. Okay, this is getting all over my face. I wasn't expecting that at all because <laughs> I didn't have any fallout when I was doing my eyeshadow on my lids, but for some reason, I'm getting a lot of fallout underneath my eyes. So it's gonna look like this, and then I'll go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. So the purple is done underneath my eyes, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the lower lash line with the shade Macchiato, and that's the sparkly shade. I'm gonna take this Luxie mini flat angled brush here and apply that shadow. And you can see this side is done. And I'm gonna do the same thing to this side. Okay, so my bottom lash line is done and so is my inner corner. And I'm just gonna brush off any shadow that fell onto my face. For the makeup that I didn't do on camera, if you guys wanna know any products that I used, just ask me down in the comments below and I would love to tell you guys exactly what that makeup is. I just didn't wanna do it on camera because I wanna keep this short and sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and take my MAC Extended Play Jigga Black Lash. This is what I always use and just put that on my bottom lashes. This is the final look with my eyeshadow done and lashes, lower lash line, bottom lash mascara, everything on my face. I mean, I love putting on makeup, so to me, I think this looks beautiful. If you guys wanna see a similar look using the Dominique Cosmetics palette, let me know. There's so many shades in here that I can do pretty much any look that you may wanna see. So I'm gonna go ahead and unclip my hair and I'll show you guys what everything looks like. All right, you guys, we are finally done with the full look. I hope you guys really love this look. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And if you haven't done so already, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.